Rabotai, besides for the mitzvah on the first night of Sukkot this year, this coming Wednesday night, Bezat Hashem, to eat bread in the Sukkah, there's a mitzvah Asim in the Torah. We learn it out, Hamisha Asar, Hamisha Asar, from Pesach, just like there's a mitzvah to eat a kezait of matzah, Belil Pesach. There's also a mitzvah in the Torah to eat a kezait of bread in the Sukkah on the first night of Sukkot. But besides for that mitzvah, uh, for the rest of Sukkot, a person is not obligated to go actively and seek out bread to eat in the sukkah. Rather, there are certain things that must be eaten in the sukkah and certain things that don't need to be. Now, which is what? Any Anytime a person has a seudat keva, which is a meal of a settled character, which is defined in halacha as more than a kabitza of bread or mezonot items must be eaten in the sukkah. The only difference is as follows. If a person eats a kezait, uh, meaning a more than a kabitza of bread in the sukkah, he has to make birkat lishev basukkah. That's clear. What about if a person has more than a kaza, uh, more than a kabitza? Kabitza is about 54 grams of mezonot items, cakes, cookies, uh, pasta, things of that nature. Over there, there's a machloket whether or not pata baba kisnin is considered bread or not. And therefore, it, a person is required to eat in the sukkah, but without the brachav lishev basukkah, unless a person is being kovea seuda on those mezonot items. Ve'ot seuda in this context, is approximately three kabitzim, which is 162 grams of that mezonot, um, of the cake, cookies, pasta, whatever it is, in which case a person would also be reciting the bracha of lishev basukah. Now, although, with regards to birkat amazon, for a person to make hamotzin birkat amazon on cakes and cookies, a person would have to have four kabitzim because of safek brachot, but with regards to lishev basukah, Three, uh, three kabitzim, which is 162 grams, is sufficient. So that's with regards to that. Anything else, according to the letter of the law, does not require eating in a sukkah, which means if you're eating fruits, vegetables, meat, rice, even wine, uh, kabitza or less of bread or mezonot, all of these things do not require a sukkah according to the letter of the law. Again, it's wonderful for those who have a sukkah to eat and drink everything in the sukkah because that's where we're supposed to be spending most of our time. All of these halachot apply to uh, sfaradim, first of all. Ashkenazim have different customs. We'll leave that aside for now. And also only apply to men. Women will never, at least Sephardic women, Ashkenazi women are a different story, but Sephardic women will never recite the bracha of lishev basukah because it's mitzvat ase she'azman grama from which nashim are patur. Women do not have the mitzvah of sukkah just like they don't have the mitzvah of lulav. They may sit in the sukkah if they wish. They may take a lulav if they wish, but they cannot make a bracha because it's a positive time-bound mitzvah. Have a wonderful day.